Let's talk about some programming magic. Monte Carlo integration. Let's start with the question, what is an integral? Well, if we draw an x-y axis and a single line across the axis following the equation y equals x, the integral is simply the area under the curve, or the area within this shaded triangular region. We know from basic calculus that the integral of this equation is 1 half x squared, which looks suspiciously like the area of a triangle, as 1 half base times height. In fact, if the base is x and the height is also x, then the area of a triangle is exactly the same as the integral of this equation. So let's think of this problem a little differently. Instead of an x-y axis with a line on the axis, let's imagine a box with width and height x. Inside of this box, let's embed the same triangle we saw before. Now, obviously, the area of the box is simply the base times the height, or x squared, and the area of the triangle within the box takes up half the space, so it's one half of the area of the box, or one half x squared. This is great! It means that we can find the area of any arbitrary object within the square, so long as we know the ratio of how filled the square is by the arbitrary object. So now we have a question. How exactly do we calculate that value of 1 half? Well, in this case, it's easy. We simply take the area of the triangle and divide it by the area of the box. But wait, we're looking for the area of the triangle, so we can't exactly use that. There must be some other way to calculate this ratio. Monte Carlo's solution to this problem is random sampling. The idea is that if we take a whole bunch of points in the box and we divide the number of points that fall within the triangle by the total number of points used in the box, we should find that ratio of the areas necessary to compute the integral. So let's try it out. I'm going to plot a whole bunch of random points within the box, and afterwards you'll see that 17 fall within the triangle and a total of 36 fall within the entire box. Now, I guess that ratio isn't quite one half, but it's pretty close. This highlights something important about the Monte Carlo algorithm. It is inherently random. That said, the more random points we take, the better our approximation becomes. So let's draw a square, and inside of the square, let's embed a circle. Now let's perform a Monte Carlo algorithm to find the area of the circle. With one, three, or seven points, the approximate area is quite poor. But as we increase the total number of points to thousands upon thousands, eventually the approximate area becomes incredibly close to that of a circle, as indicated by the low percent error at the bottom of the screen. And that was our first real Monte Carlo simulation. But the true power of the Monte Carlo algorithm comes from the fact that we can now integrate somewhat arbitrary and misbehaved functions. For example, the bat symbol. Now here things were done a little bit differently. Instead of an exterior square, we used an exterior oval, and the interior is, quite obviously, the Batman curve, for which there will be a link in the description for more information. And there you have it, the Monte Carlo algorithm. Arbitrary shapes, random numbers, real results. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.